Brenda, we are now at sea. I stood on deck and watched the coast of England disappear into the distant mist. Who knows what lies ahead? A better future for us, that is my fervent hope. Well, there's no more room for anything else except to say I love you and miss you. Your Neville. some crisps. I've got scotch eggs. <laughs> I don't think he's found his sea legs yet, Dennis, eh? Yeah, well, he's missing their Brenda, you know, I mean, they do at that age. Bye. Bye. Hey, cheers, Dan. Cheers, mate. I... He could be having second thoughts, you know, about the... Oh, I was having them a week ago, man, so was I he? said to him, I said, listen, I said, if you want that posh house on that new estate, it's the only way you're gonna get it without lining the tax man's pocket for once, you know? Well, you know what to say, eh? Huh? Pelicans, penguins, and inland revenue have all got one thing in common. What's that? They can all shove their bills up that horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There you go. Oh, dear. Hey, hey, can you call this crap? What, you got a sticking on the back for? You know you supported them? No, no, I don't, I don't, but the bloke I bought it off did, you know. I was going to try and scrape it, but I thought I might lose the bump. I, you know. Whoop, whoop, there we go. Now, don't panic, Neville. We'll all stick to the same story, right? We're up to catch butterflies in Bavaria. Do you have anything to declare? Uh, no, just uh, just a duty free. Scotch, cigarettes. Can you open the back, please? Yeah, um, is it keys on? Doesn't lock. What's this? It's a uh, spirit level. What spirit level? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah. What does it mean? Your wall's not plumped. Used all my options, worked off my dues. Played all the cards, now there's nothing to lose. Don't want tomorrow to be like today. That's why I'm breaking away. Take your love to town. Dearest Brenda, well, here I am in Holland. But it could almost be England, except we're driving on the wrong side of the road. Dennis sends his love. Mate, there's one good thing about waiting so near the curb, you can throw your rubbish straight into the ditches. You know, you don't risk hitting anybody. The other bloke, ours, 
Seems a bit of a joker. <laughs> Oops, sorry. We just went over a bump, which is surprising as Holland is very flat. I love you and miss you. Yours till the next point of interest, Nev. Another Porsche card, is it, Neville? Oh. <coughs> Promise Brenner you'd keep in touch. Keep in touch, you wrote the first one. A darling, man. You're gonna blow all your money on postage, lad. She didn't want us to come. She said she'd accepted it. Whatever's best for us, she said. And last night, she was a bit tearful. Then you never said a word. And that's not like your missus. No, well, I must admit, I didn't give her much of a chance, like, you know, I sneaked out the back door and made a dawn departure, like, and uh, pushed the car down the hill so it wouldn't make a noise. <laughs> you did a runner on your wife. Oh, you don't know who's Marjorie. She's the right ball breaker. I've seen her break the balls of innocent bystanders. <laughs> Last time I came out, I didn't bother telling her I was coming. I just said, uh, I'm going down to the newsagent's pet and get the Sporting Chronicle. Three months I was away that time. Three months? What'd you say when you got back? What, one to 4.30? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I've never worked abroad before. I've been abroad, like. Me and Brenda went to Minorca twice. Twice? Why twice? <laughs> we liked it the first time. Whereabouts is it? Minorca? I'm not really sure. Flew non stop from Newcastle. What's up? Nothing, nothing. Just better safe than sorry, isn't it? Sorry about what? Look, it just needs a little push. We should have took the train. Hey, man, you'll be glad of this when we get there. Man, we can see a bit of Germany in this. Right, mush. I've always wanted to push a clap new Zephyr around the Bavarian Alps. Just outside Stafford, yeah. yeah. Bloke went bust, yeah. Did he? Oh. So I came back here for the crack like money, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, got to, innit? No choice, really, is there? No, it's not. It's a mate, is it? Yeah. Us, 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 the buddy. All right, Paul. Oh, we were together once, you know. All right, all right. Ah, no, the Jody, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, uh, there's no graft up all here, you know. Nah, nor any price to say, yeah. That's good, mate. I blame Thatcherism, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a misguided policy, you know. It's totally misguided and misconstrued. Mind you, the Labour Party's in such disarray. I don't think the opposition offers much alternative or consolation, does it? No, no. I was just saying this, Jim. Yeah. Oh, who's yeah. the agent, buddy? Oh, it's a bloke called Vista. Over here, looks a bit like David Kossoff with the bifocals. Oh, uh, what's the form? What's in his manifest? Uh, Frankfurt's best for brickies. Yeah. Man, I'm smiley, chippies, plasterers. Yeah. And they want some uh, electricians at Munch and Gladbeck. Fancy that myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what chance, Dusseldorf? Oh, I'm getting this up. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's a bit. Thank you. See you, mate. Ta-ra. 
Miss? Who, Fister? Yes. Uh, do you need any brickies for Dusseldorf? I have jobs for two only. Oh, you couldn't make it three, Chief, could you? Uh, nine. For Düsseldorf, they want now only two bricklayers, also carpenters. Oh, well, all right then, because this lad here's a carpenter. Oh, Dennis, just get the beers in, Neville, OK? Where are your lads, Mr. Fister? Dennis, man, I'm not a carpenter, man. Did you take woodwork at school? Well, yes, but I've been... Right, a carpenter. I'll never get away with it. Look, look, we promised to stick together, didn't we? Now, what's your Brenda going to think if you thought I'd left you in Munchen Gladbacker somewhere? Well, I trust never man of three musketeers, eh? One more all and sod the rest. Oh, aye, but we could all have gone somewhere else as brickies. No, man, no. Look, Dusseldorf's the best place, kid, right? It's got the old town there. It's got all the good bars, man. Dennis reckons it's got the best brothel in Germany. Aye. Just think of the postcard you could send your lass. Dearest Brenda, well, that good. Knocking shop, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Why do you have to give that German fella money anyway, Dennis? Well, he got us a job, man. See, that's like his backhand, you know. Oh, hey. What's the word then, eh? What? What's the word then? How's it going? All right. You said you were off to, uh... Dusseldorf, that right? Maybe. Got a car then? No, only this. Hey, hey! Hey, uh. Any chance for a lift, lad? I'm afraid not, son. See, we've got all we're gear and it's the three of us, like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Do the same for you sometime, right? Spurs. You can tell, man. This is like a spy book I once read, you know. Love spy books, me. Anyway, this bloke was trying to get through the German border on a false passport, you see? His pulse raced and his mouth went dry as the guards scrutinised his papers. He's an avid reader, you know, Oz. Yeah, that's part of the reason I left home. I owed that many library tickets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jam, five Chinese crackers up your arsehole, bang, 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 bang. Oi! I'm setting the alarm for six, pet. That should give me plenty time before Dennis picks you up. I'll get dressed through here, love, so as not to wake you up. Oh, I'll get up. I'll make you thermos and some sandwiches. Oh, don't bother, pet. We'll be stopping places. Oh, I won't sleep anyway. Oh, come on, Brenda. I might stay around at my mum's the first few days, just till I get adjusted. Oh, I have told you to stop at your mum's. Or get your sister around some nights when you're feeling nervous about... Well, about... Murderers. There aren't any murderers, pet. Not around here. There's everything else. I went to the shops the other day and... And what? I didn't want to say anything. Well, you might as well now. I didn't want to worry you. Well, you've got us worried sick, so what? Well, I went to Rini's to get my hair done. It was the night we went to Dante's with Joan Margaret. Uh-huh. Well, this man followed us all the way home. He had a squint and he wore a mac and he was staring at us. Well, if, if he had a squint, how do you know he was staring at you? Oh, I knew you wouldn't take it seriously, Neville. Well, man, just because a man stares at you and wears a mac, it doesn't mean to say he's going to murder you, Brenda. Well, maybe, but this isn't the safest place for a woman to live. I know it isn't. That's why I'm going to Germany, man. Hey, how are you? That's why I'm going, isn't it? 
so I can get some cash and buy us a nice house on a nice estate. I don't want to go to Germany, you know that. Yeah, you do, don't you? Uh -huh. I'll miss you. Oh, I'll miss you. You will write, won't you, Neville? Turn it over now, give it another try. And the sump's dropped off. What? The sump, man. The oil has all run out. The engine must have seized. Can it be fixed? Yeah. It's a new engine, man. It's fixed in a German garage. Will your insurance cover it? I doubt it very much. It's not insured. Has to be insured, man. Otherwise, you couldn't have got the green card. You get the car out of England. No, well, I cancelled the insurance when I got the green card. It gives us a bit spending money for when I got here. You see? You were going to drive all the way to Germany without insurance. What if it had a crash? Eh? What if we'd ended up in a German hospital? We're not on the German national health, you know. Well, we didn't, did we? Wait, we could have done. What if the engine had seized on the fast lane? Eh? One of them big juggernauts up our ass. We've never been in a fast lane. Myself. You shouldn't have left no to you. I would again. You're totally irresponsible, you was, it has to be said. That's it, Nev. Reporting for work, sir. Patterson, I was born in Hope. Um, her fist has signed us on. Two Brickies and uh, a chippy. <laughs> Unless you want another Brickie. Why? Yeah, well, we'll know one if you do. Nine. It is not good, I think, to arrive so late. Yeah, well, sorry, sir. We, we, we had a bit of bother on the road, sir. Uh, look, can we just check in the hostel and we'll get back here smartish, eh? The hostel is full. You will have to stay on the compound. Well, I thought we'd be in the hostel. First serve, first come. Put your things in your hut. Hut? What's he talking about? Hut? Pro tem, man. Pro tem. Okay. Hustle with table tennis and bats? Aye, well, we would have been, wouldn't we? We'd been on time. Where are we? Stalag 17, by the look of things. Hey, 
man is anywhere to go around here. Well, I don't know, Neville. You've seen as much of this place as I have. Oh, I mean, you've been here before. Not to this site. I haven't. Look, Neville, I can't choose the site. I'm a bricklayer. I'm not a bloody architect. Oi! Yeah. Excuse me. Do you speak English? It is my mother tongue, my dear. So good all my life. My name is Bummer. Which is the best hood, Bummer? Oh, I take that. The other one's got all the turds in it. We call it the Casbah. Jesus. <laughs> Look, Neville, it's all right. That's some good change in just a I know the place well. But save me money more time. It's a whole point. Right, I'm dusting down here. Just, uh, just get yourself a bed, Nev. It'll only be temporary, this, you know. Yeah, well, I will start tunneling tonight. I'll square up with the whiskey up up a sack. The problem's gonna be the dogs, though. And, uh, well, we're gonna put the sand, cos... Shut up, boys! And we're gonna need false papers and silly clothes. And... Shut up, man, will you? Well, it's like that, isn't it? You know what I mean? Rouse, rouse, snell, snell. Censor, so be careful what you're writing. <laughs> Just want to tell her we've arrived safely. What home sick already? Aren't you? Oh no, of course you wouldn't be. No, I know how you feel, man. I know how you feel. I bet you're thinking what it would be like if we were at home right now. You'd be coming in from some freezing cold, windswept site. Into the warmth of a nice cool fire, a cuddle off Brenda, and the smell of the bisto gravy. Just wafting in out the kitchen. Sit down, should say. Put your feet up, pet, and catch your animation wide, and I'll put the veg on. That'd be magic. Well, put these thoughts from your mind. Escape is impossible. For you, Tommy, the war is over. <laughs> Come from around here. Around here. Aye, do you live here in Dusseldorf? Dusseldorf? Yeah. Aye, I've heard it's a canny place, so but. Bitte. It's not as good as where we come from. I understand you, Mensch. It's better than Deutsch or what? Than Gastarbeiter is in England. So much for me attempt to cement Anglo German relations. Concentrate on cementing bricks if I was you, mate. Look at them, Dennis, from one brick at a time. They haven't got no, uh, panache. I know, that's why they get the needle, cos they're not as fast as us, man. Ironic, really, you know, isn't it? Us, here, helping erect all this, when it was our lot what flattened it in the first place. Well, not, not this bit, man. Uh, this is one of your dormitory suburbs. Oh, right, like a computer belt sort of thing. Aye, aye. Look, give that turkey shot, will you? We're getting one dog. Oh! Hey, you tell her? Get your skates on! Get 
Scheiß! Pass doch auf, was du machst! Du willst mich umbringen, oder was? I'm sorry! Warum bleiben Sie nicht zu Hause? Uh, don't panic, Ned, right? Because you know what they say, don't you? One man's ceiling is another man's floor. I'm bloody thoughtless, man. But we're covering for you, aren't we? Look, if that foreman geezer comes around, okay, just saw something, right? I don't know when we'll get my Red Cross parcels, eh? Chocolate and condensed milk. <laughs> you live in a dream world, you do us. Oh, well, it's a lot better than the real thing, isn't it? Hey, London! Oh, man! Where's Nev? Did you throw that? Aye! You could have split my bloody head open, you lunatic. I know, I wanted to know where Neville is, man. Well, he's over first aid, isn't he? And I'm bloody lucky I'm not there with him. Jesus. Hey, Nev, you all right, kid? What's happened? The saw slipped, didn't it? It's only a question of what I'll lose first. This job on me right hand. Ah, well, I'm afraid you've written your last postcard, son. Oh, leave us alone, Oz, man. Hey, that's your dart hand and all, isn't it? Serious injury and all. You can't chuck a dart, you'll not be up to hold dominoes. Shut up, man, Oz! Ah, uh, it'll be popular with the Germans, anyway. At least they'll be able to keep up with your work, yet. Oh, dear. Just throwing a tantrum. Oh, no, it's a show brush. <laughs> Everything's a joke to you, isn't it, Oz? Just a permanent clown you are. Aye, well, son, better a clown of bloody misery like you. You're like death warmed up, you are, man. I'm not here because I like it, Oz. Some of us, are, like me and Dennis, we're only going through with this because we've got a purpose. Oh, I thought you just had a wife. I didn't realise you had a purpose. What do you feed that on? Oz, you never know when to leave the loan, do you? Eh? You're the one that's out to step, Oz. Oh, is that me? And what's so comical about me writing to me wife? What's so strange about us caring for her? Worrying about her? Dennis is the same with his missus. You're just doing this for her, aren't you, Dan? And the bands. Wait, I saw. Kevin, let Angela have a go with the oars. Yeah. <laughs> If you go back to your mum, so they're going to get to school? I'll manage. Oh, he's got a car, has he? Yes, he has. But we're not going to live together yet. It hasn't got to that stage. I still think they'd be happy in their own house. Not the way it's been with us, they wouldn't. <laughs> they understand the arguments now. It was different when they were toddlers. Now it's getting harder to answer their questions. Well, I would have thought, where's Dad's? A pretty difficult question to answer. No, I've had plenty of practice with that one. There you go, Nev. That makes it all worthwhile, eh? First beer pocket. And bombers last. What? You are leaving? Oh, not soon enough, my old duck. Got a nice job lined up, I have. Bristol. New bypass. Good money. Home every night. And English ale. Yeah, I need a Britney. I'll steam in there Monday, all right? Great. Barry Shane. I'll get Dennis. All right. Hello, everybody. Oh, yeah. I believe I've had the pleasure, son. Ah, oh, Barry. Barry Tyler. Thought you'd uh, gone to Munch and Gladbach. Dad, didn't like it one bit, did I? Didn't like the place, nor the sights. This looks all right, though. It's 
got a sort of better air, and he's... Need electricians, do I? Eh, uh, Capo's in the hut. Oh, I'll chance me arm here, then. Well, I do that every day. You'll marry my tattoos, lad. Oh, yeah. So many of my travels, these are. You youngsters sews badges on your rucksacks. Bummer. He bears them on his body. I've never seen so many. Oh, these is nothing. My mate Plugger from Teamworth, he got all the fox hunt on his back. The entire pack of hounds running down his spine. Yeah? And you can just see the fox's brush peeping out his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, show us is hot enough, but tell me get back here, you've lost all the benefits. <laughs> oh dear me, look at London. You must have been looking for love in some weird places. Your hair's wearing blue. <laughs> Come on, Nev. Oh, tell me you're getting your gear on it. Oh, I'm not going, thanks. Go on, mate, do you good. Get yourself out yourself. I hope that bummer's tape with down the brothel, man. I'm not going to a brothel, thanks very much. Yeah, there's no panic, you know. It's all above board. State-owned, yeah? State-owned? Yeah, see, uh, the girls are sort of civil servants. It's kind of like the national health. Look, you don't have to go to the brothel. Just come and have a few jars with the lads, eh? Oh, I'm, I'm a bit tired then. I'd, I'd just as soon stop in and have a bit read. Bomber's ready. Bomber's away. Oh, aye, right, Bomber. Unstoppable. This is important. It's going to rain. I'll get no Dearest Brenda, it is Friday night and the lads have just gone out. They asked me to join them, but without you, there didn't seem much point. To stay in myself. Yeah, yeah, save your money. After all, that's why we're here, isn't it? I'll send all mine to the wife. Oh. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not married myself, nah. So, most of mine goes back to me building society accounts. It's West Bromwich and District. Yeah, you know, the thoughts of that little nest egg justifies like living in this squalor, did it? I suppose so. Oh, it's a desperate place, this, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you've got to get out and about, you know. I don't mean, like, carousing and womanising like, like the rest of the lads. No, no, see the country. Oh, you might as well broaden your horizons while you're out here, you know. Yeah. You know, I've already managed to do a bit of sightseeing myself. Been to Brouge. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, it's a really beautiful place, it's Bruce. Yeah, I took some Polaroids in, Bruce. Oh, I think, I think you'll agree that, uh, that they capture its historic splendour. If you insist. <laughs> Can I have another one, please, Heidi? Thank you very much. Talk, talk. Cheers. Hey, Rose. Have you ever been to a brothel? No, matter of fact, I haven't. But uh, I've got a pretty good idea in my mind of what it's going to be like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll go in, everything will be like red, plush, you know, good fittings in nice red full maker under table tops and that sort of thing. And uh, there'll be a little fella in the corner playing a piano with his, his sleeves rolled up, you know. And all the birds will be, you know, heavily made up. And uh, 
I love them wispy corsets on and them stockings with lanes up the back and stiletto has it. Yeah, well, I reckon it's going to be a bit different here from what I've been told, Sam. Well, we'll soon find out, mate. I'm not going. What? I am paying for it. Well, you're not going to pull no road here, are you? Already have, mate. So we had some other sheets. Germany? No, I didn't. I said it was the biggest. Hey, Dennis says, yeah, you tell her. Hey! Hey! It's not allowed in your country. They'll find out they'll cut it off. That's it. He thinks it. That's what Bummer wants. That's what Bummer came for. Right. Come on, my dude. Who belongs to Bummer? I fancy that one, Dennis. Which one? That one over there, Susie Wong. What about you? Huh? I've, uh, I've, I've gone off the idea. What? Uh, Never. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll have a fog and uh, I wouldn't share a taxi back, mate. Well, I hope you've got a full pocket. <clears throat> Bomber did, I'll give it a miss, me. Where is Bomber? Oh, he's still there. I think he's bought a season ticket, Bomber. What was that like? Oh, Nev. It was fantastic. I had this gorgeous tour. I mean, admit it, Dennis, wasn't she gorgeous? Yeah, she wasn't bad. No, oh. you be quiet, please. Ah, oh, bollocks, man. She was uh, Eurasian, Nev, you know? Or somewhere like that. But, I mean, let's face it, you don't get the chance what birds like that and... Back home, day, I mean. Was it like different, was it? Poor. Oh. Tell you one thing, mate. Sex is in its infancy and gets it. Ha! Huh. Thirty-two! England three! Why? Oh, I thought you were going home today, Bummer. Shouldn't you be at the station by now? Should be, yes. Better get your skates on, hadn't you? Not going now. No point. What? No money. Are you a chogan? You said you had nearly £900 to take home. Well, I had it. Now I haven't. Well, how many girls did you have? Well, I went out after with some of the Brits. Poker was my downfall. I was feeling lucky. I ran to William Stapp's affected Bobber's judgment. Oh, that's tragic. What will you tell the wife? Well, oh, he knows exactly what you'll say. That's why Bomber's staying. Not the first time, boy. Daft as a brush. That's always been Bomber's problem. I don't know. Goes to work every week. Hands it over to the wife. Pays for the house. New clothes for the kids. Don't leave much for yourself, like. Suddenly, you get a great wad of spending money in your fist. Throws you off kilter. It's a great feeling being able to buy drinks for your friends, even strangers. So, what are you going to do now? As much overtime as I can crack. It's a straight and narrow from now on for Mama.
Nicht so schnell! Langsam! Mach langsam! Was langsam? Slow down! Ah! That's what Susie Wong was saying to me the other night. Hey, Nev. The couple tells me you've jacked it in. Well, is it true? Well, uh, yeah. No choice, have I? See, if Bummer had gone, I'd have stopped, but... Oh, I'm no chippy man, Dennis. I can't go on faking it. Well, look, I'll tell you what, I'll have a word, OK? I'll explain the circumstances. I'll see that you're, uh, you're dead keen to stay on. And then we'll just swap you back the bricks. Well, it's too late for that now, Den. See, I just rang the missus and told her I'm coming. What, was it a letter, like? Oh, no, it wasn't her. She's put no pressure on at all. It's me, man, Dennis. I hate it here, I admit. See, maybe I could make a thousand pound, but it would take us six months, man. And I, I cannot stand the prospect of that. Yeah, it's partly my fault, I suppose, eh? No. Getting too rosy a picture. No, it's not that either. See, it's just... I know me, and I, I know I wouldn't last the distance. Well, when do you leave? Said I'd work out this week. Right, listen, Friday night, OK? You're coming out with the lads, right? I mean, you haven't come all this way to spend two weeks in a hut reading Oz's overdue library oh, books. Just, no, just no, so no, nothing. no arguments. That's settled, all right? Well, right. right. Good lad. Got some nice looking birds out there, Colts. I've got to kill them, that's wow. Yeah, you saw that. Well, if you forget it this time tomorrow, you'll be back with your Brenda. That's true, you better get in there quick. <laughs> Her friends are so jealous. You know how bad girls get Sometimes it's not so easy To be the teacher's pet Temptation But it's arisen a bit, haven't it? I've now sunk if you want to. Looks like it. Is this your drinking here, Pump? Bummer's Rona. William Snap. Have a chip. Three white guys. Three beers for a line and three William. Oh, hey, Bummer, not for the lad, man. Oh, oh, hey, it's quite nice, that. I like it. Hey, it reminds us of someone who's in pairs. Oh, you, mate. Oh, no, I've been watching it. It's quite simple, really. Well, I did 50 quid in last week, just like that, man. And what do you call home with your uh, wages intact, right? Oh, thank you. Brenda was telling us on the phone she's seen your Vera. Vera was telling her, like, that you and her had split up. Hey, uh, I'm sorry, Dan. You never said. Things, yeah, you know. I mean. Hey, you're not bad, you know. Huh? Yeah. Oh dear me, who died? Why? Well, you two, look at you, man. You look as miserable as sin. We're 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 just talking about the meaning of life, us. Oh, I that yeah. I give that a lot of thought, like you know, being a bricklayer. I mean, it makes you a bit of a philosopher. You ever had any ambition, Oz? Ambition? Uh, his only ambition is to say Friday has come round again, man. <laughs> <laughs> Lot of 
He's not in here with me. Well, did he not come back with you last night? No, he, uh, he went out with Bomber and some of the lads. I forget where. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have left him with you. Oh, I didn't fret, man. You've been wet nosing him since we left. He's old enough, man. Good car, Oh, bollocks. Some of us are trying to sleep, you know. Oh, double bollocks. Look, let's steer to you. <laughs> Where you been? Lots of places. Can't remember in what order. Well, where'd you wake up? A railway station on a bench. Ah. Well, you pity you didn't have your stuff with you. You could have just topped straight on the train. There you were, bummer. I don't know. I, I, I think you went to the brothel. Well, you didn't, like. Certainly not. Well, how we can get your gear together and I'll get you straight down the station. Ah, I'm not going. What? I'm not going. Let me guess why. You've lost all your money, haven't you? Eh? You've blown it all on booze and gambling, haven't you? Just like Bummer, haven't you? I don't know how I ended up, man. I don't understand this German money. Look at that lot! Did I win? Did you win? You rich bunny lad! Come on. Well, comfortably well off, anyway. The old charter him a 747 with this. We can have more money his tea. <laughs> I can't go home. Ever. Why not? Look, so you didn't stick it out, but you're going home with a wad full of money. Got nothing to be ashamed of, has he? Why no? I'm not. I'm not go home with this. Who's Lottie? I can't remember. <laughs>